Welcome back everyone. Today we will solve another probability problem from time complexity. Uh, this is the last problem, lesson 3 time complexity, and this problem is tap equilibrium. What is the problem? We have to read the problem statement. A non empty array A consists of and integers is given array a represents number on a tab any integer p such that 0 is greater than p 0 is smaller than p p is smaller than n so in order the difference between the two parts is the value of blah 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 so in other words it is the absolute difference between the sum of the first part and the sum of the second part. For example, consider array A such that, for an example, you will get array like this and you should find out the minimum difference. We can split this step in four places like this write a function class solution public and solution that given a non-empty array a of an integers return the minimal difference that can be achieved for example given this the function should return one as explained above so let's go to solve this problem We already read our problem statement. We should find out the difference. From initialize zero like this. Now we should use for loop. A length. now we should define another variable minimum difference equal to i am using math building function math abs means absolute minimum it's already written in our problem we should find out the absolute value absolute differences we should find out so we should use this one like this way
after this we have to check for int long minimum difference below so in just minute i already did it differences yes difference minus equal to 2 why 2 i am telling because it will find out the absolute sum between two elements that's why we should do it like this way and then we properly get the result what is our actual minimum element and then mean difference equal to math building function mean building function at first i have to check mean difference i need to variable and later what i need math dot absolute value from difference after that i should return main difference now let's check is it working or not yeah it's true because you see it's long i call the variable data type is long but i return the long value but i have to return the int value so how i can do it like this got to expected one okay still i have some problem where i am doing this problem at first i have to check some condition okay i think this is the problem let's check again is it okay or not got four x expected one so i have to check what is the problem okay and I think everything is okay. Yeah, I should start to count from one because I am going to finding minimum element, minimum differences from the array element so i should count from one not for zero not from zero we should remember it for this algorithm what we did we should recap again then you will be more clear because when i was coding i was explaining a little for this video now that's why i want to recap it again for your understanding clearly at first we define one variable data type long and uh, for the variable name is differences and it will count the array 
element so array elements how many elements we have to need to check it will check here and after that differences plus equal to it will count i told you it will add it and the all element like this way or i can write here sum also it can be like this it's not a problem because it's one kind of sum method after that i define another variable minimum difference it will be our return value because we are looking absolute minimum absolute difference and minimum value so minimum difference is our return value so for this we have to check previous differences so that's why we use math.absolute difference after that we again use for loop it's it's also starting from one and a dot length minus one because uh, you know array always count from zero when it's counting when it's iterating it's like this it's iterative solution for you remember i should mention it also and after that i am checking differences before what i did or i was adding now i have to subtract because i should find the differences that's why i use minus equal to two because when you will subtract from one number to second number you have to use two and that's why i am adding first time and after that i should add again one or two elements i should divide it two parts that's why i, I need to and it will multiply by array elements that's why second difference is minus first difference is plus we should remember it because we should subtract first element to second elements uh, first sum to second sum whatever you think after that we should find the minimum differences difference minimum difference is equal to map dot minimum it's a built-in function after that minimum difference then math absolute value difference after that i return int minimum difference now let's go to submit we have to check what is score we can earn that's fine it's required all the condition that's why we get full score and the time complexity is big o n it's really nice it's uh, linear time time complexity or you can say frs case time complexity and this is our score okay take care everyone until next video bye see you soon and follow my channel subscribe my channel bye